1961, the sport of golf integrated. Prior to 1961, we were only allowed to be caddies. It was the last of American sports to do so. However, unlike baseball, basketball, and football, golf managed to keep black golfers in the background, and it wasn't until the emergence of Tiger Woods in the late 1990s to where the sport of golf gained popularity in the black community. It's Oof. not, might not be too realistic, but we gonna, we gonna shoot for it, shoot for the stars, land on the moon, you know? Personally, and being, you know, being an African-American male, um, I think the biggest thing is, is inclusion. Unfortunately, even in 2020, there are only a few pro black golfers on the PGA Tour, and this can be contributed to the lack of exposure and developmental programs, not only in our inner cities, but in our rural black neighborhoods. You know, I think there's one thing to say that you're, you're, you're trying to include others, but I mean, this sport has been dominated primarily about by, by white males. Exposure and awareness. Um, and not enough of, you know, minorities have access to golf. Um, and I think with more inclusion, more access, um, you know, eventually you're going to start producing, um, you know, young stars like a Harold Varner. Oh, I've been playing since high school, 10th grade. Oh, man, our, our golf coach, he was real cool with our basketball coach. So he, uh, he ended up taking us out to a pro-am at Congressional. And we linked up with a couple of the caddies and started caddying. And then next year, we decided to play. So. Um, I enjoy the camaraderie. Network and camaraderie. Uplift and empowerment. The Young Black Golfer Initiative hopes to not only inspire young athletes to pursue golf, but to make sure all ages and abilities, people from all walks of life. So regardless of where you come from, you know, it, it does bring some people together. Have a platform to meet, organize, network, and engage in all things related to the sport of golf. This is our game now. Join us. YBG!